How you doing, mis amores? This is Cynthia Ellie Fontaine, and this is Memoirs on My Cuckoo. And today, I'm gonna dedicate my Memoirs on My Cuckoo in behalf of all the production, Chris Tyler, um, Javier, and me, to the victims of Orlando, okay? I'm gonna tell you all my experience from this past weekend, me visiting Portals, Orlando. I was supposed to work June 11, that night at Paul's Orlando, but for so many reasons, management and I, we changed it because we have a booking in Houston. And it was a booking that they won the two Puerto Ricans of the show, Nacha Lopez, RuPaul's Drag Race season eight, and me doing a show together. So we were performing at Houston in South Beach that night when we heard what happened, all the tragedy. I couldn't be able to go to sleep because I heard two of the names of my friends from Puerto Rico. They used to dance with me in Univision, one of them, and Telemundo, and the other one. It was a huge fan of St. Jelly Fontaine. I was in shock because we, we never as a community experienced something like this. We were talking about all the time, like, what's gonna be happening? Do you know somebody over there? And I told him, like, yes, I have two of my friends that they were that night, and even were, were people over there they went to Paul's to the club by mistake because they thought it was it's gonna be my show because originally the promotions in social media said June 11 but then we rescheduled for June 25. Javier and I we were returning from our gig and then I get like the sad news from my um, one of my friends in Puerto Rico that told me hey, you know what um, one of your friends um, unfortunately passed away on the tragedy. I cry sometimes you need to cry so, in all kids here, you know I do my cuckoo confessions. I was with my best friend, my assistant Javier, and then Chris, and I was talking with Chichi, and we hugged like for five minutes, and we said like, she told me, Cynthia, you don't understand, I cry so hard all the entire night, because this is devastating for our community. But seeing you here, and having the opportunity to have another um, second chance and film your show and have my performance here tonight and give a, and deliver a little bit of happiness to the rest of the community that have the opportunity to see our show that's the biggest satisfaction feeling ever and when she, she say that she hit one of my you know alarms bing, 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 on my brain and I say and I switch and I was like yes I was supposed to be there that night but I'm still here alive so everything happened with a purpose so what should be that purpose since that day? Live my life the fullest. Like I always said on my elimination on, on the show on RuPaul. Believe in your dreams, even if you are the only one that believes in yourself. You have to do that. So I'm gonna tell you my visit to Orlando. I give some flowers. I get to see my sisters, because I don't know if you know guys, four or five months ago, unfortunately my brother passed away. And I couldn't be able to go to, uh, to the funeral due to my duties doing all the entire um, tour for the premiere for RuPaul's Drag Race Season 8. So it was amazing to have them, two of my big sisters, um, Gimeli Muñeca, I love you, from Kissing Orlando. And they went with me. We went as a family together, just to show respect to the victims of Orlando. And for me, that means the world, because I have the support of my family. As always, I, I talk and you know what? That's amazing. We talk about everything. And they have a lot of questions because they never saw me live doing a show and they were planning to go to that night. So even like, you know, how to do my, you know, my kuka and my kuku and whatever, all that stuff, they they have questions. I answer those, those questions because I know them to know. So we laugh, we smile. We have a great and amazing family quality time and they went with me together just to support um, those four in our life that they are not with us anymore. Mis Amores, this is the best advice that I can give to you. This show, in behalf of Chris Tyler, in behalf of Javier and me, all the production said this community have, a, have, have to be united. This community have a lot of solidarity. This community have a lot of love and that's exactly the point of view that I want to give to all of you, Mis Amores Cuckoo, around the world. Be happy. Be yourself. Encourage yourself to pursue for your dreams, baby. And may your cuckoo happy every single time that you know that you make an achievement and it's positive and beneficial for you. That's the only way that we can show to the rest of the society that we are united and we are organized. 
and we stand for Orlando and we start for our brothers and sisters all around the world. So just remember, we are not afraid. We are united. So I love you, Miss Amores. This is Cindy Ellie Fontaine. This is for Memoirs of My Cuckoo. And I'm going to dedicate this episode to my brother, Jimito, and to my two friends that die, Martin and Giancarlos. I love you from the bottom of my heart. And you always make this cuckoo happy forever. See you, Miss Amores. This is Memoirs of My Cuckoo. Orlando, we stand. Her, cause she's, I was gonna say friend. Okay. 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 Hello. GPS signal lost. lost. Damn. <laughs> Cynthia, we wish you were here. Not really, but I do because.